Welcome to another edition of the Will Be Blood Fight Show. I'm your host, Dave Duenas. I'm going to keep it down a little bit because I got a thing with Amelia. I have family here at the house and stuff. Everybody's asleep. I got done watching the Lusan View versus Andrade fight. Um, I want to get into some depth about this whole controversy that has been built up at the end of the 12th round on three seconds left on the clock. Okay, now let's break it down on what happened. First off, Lusan View clearly outboxed. Andrade okay for 10 rounds the only round that really asked Andrade winning was the fifth round um, also it was very clear from the get-go of the bout the ref was going to be very involved in this bout okay now but let's break it all down let's see where the controversy really kicks kicks in okay um, first off I want to give you know, hats down to Lusan Butte. He did a great job. He clearly was outboxing him. He was clearly doing exactly what he needed to do to get to win on points. Um, I had said, you know, in my prediction that if he was to decide to trade with Andrade, that would not be in his best interest. Okay, uh, Andrade was a very he's a very strong, good jaw, heavy handed puncher. Okay, um, not a knockout artist, but a very handed heavy handed puncher. Uh, Steve Farhood gave a great analysis on saying that he's a poor man version of Magarito. Now, Bu holding uh, Andrade when it was necessary was brilliant, okay? He knew that clearly he was the better boxer, and what he needed to do was fight him in a, in a long range distance, okay? And every time Andrade tried to close the distance, he would hold him and grab him, you know? Now, the ref would jump in. Now, this is where it kind of you kind of get upset. Not with Lusan Butte, because this is a fight. First off, you know, there are dirty fighters, you know, and there are, like, for, for instance, Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins is considered a very, very dirty fighter, you know, and really, uh, Lasson Butte was doing some stuff in there that was dirty, you know. He was uh, reaching and grabbing the leg and trying to pick it up. I don't know what he was trying to do was maybe slam him. Um, he was also putting his face in Andrade's face, uh, uh, um, you know, his forehead into Andrade's face, where Andrade was doing the same thing, okay? He was pushing uh, uh, Andrade, you know? When he would throw off his combo, he would hard pivot, and then what he would do is push, okay? Um, now, the thing is, is that this is a fight, so you can't get mad at the fighter. There, there's no way of getting mad. I mean, there's a lot of fight fans that get really ticked off when fighters do this. But me, really, personally, I say, well, shit, if you can get away with it, do it. Why not? You know? And I think I'm coming off of maybe fight experience and being a trainer, too, is that I say use everything that is given to you. If you can do this get and get away with it, why not? This is where it probably upsets people with the rep he had. Little, he was a little bit too involved in this bout, okay? Uh, being that when Andrade probably got said, you know, enough's enough, you know, this guy's pushing me. I'm going to play the same tactics with him. I'm going to push him. I'm going to put my forehead in his face, see how he li likes it. Well, the ref finally jumps in and warns Andrade, saying, hey, don't do not do this, okay? Um, another thing, too, if you witness that, every time Andrade would land a good, solid punch, and he would hold, and, and you would obviously take that punch, but with good reaction, good reflexes, he would grab a hold and, and tie him up, okay? Uh, uh, Andrade, the ref would step in and really watch, you gotta watch it, is how he would put his hand on the chest of an Andrade and walk him back. He just wouldn't separate him. He would walk him back, which would give time for Lusan Butte to get his feet back underneath him and get in another position where he could be in his defensive mode and really keep the fight on the outside, okay? Now, he gives a warning to uh, Andrade saying, you know, don't do this, don't do that, and really does never says anything to, to uh, Lusan Butte until later on in the rounds when Lusan Butte, what was he doing, was holding on to the arm. When there was really, there was a lot more that he was doing, okay? He was putting his weight uh, on the neck of Andrade, which you're not supposed to do, okay? He was trying to lift up his leg and try to you know, slam him down, which he was not supposed to do. Um, the ref... You know, uh, Steve Farhood said at the end of the bout that the ref had lost control. You know what? I don't think the ref had any control of this bout from the get-go, okay? He had five uh, uh, world championship fights that he had refed. What fights? I mean, it must have been some really minor bouts because you could tell the inexperience was there, okay? This guy, he, he this dude... He was glowing, okay? You turn off the lights, you can see the inexperience on the guy, all right? Now, 
let's go down to the 12th round. Now, when the 12th round started, I was saying uh, uh, to my, one of my family members that was sitting there, I said, Andrade really needs to do something. He needs to pull something out of the magic hat in order to get this win. He's got to knock him out. He it's applies that pressure. pressure. Now, I had said also, too, is we have not seen the Sambu fight a fighter that puts so much consistent pressure and has a jaw like Andrade, right? How is he going to react? Well, we saw it. He got tired. He became very fatigued. Um, you could see, too, that he also was like, damn, I can't damage this guy. And that can really take away a lot of your confidence, too, okay? Now, going into the minute left and into the bow he finally gets caught he gets hurt you can see how he falls into the ropes okay falls right into the ropes the first time now when he's leaving the ropes you could see that he's not walking backwards he's literally lost his balance his legs are no longer there he's jogging backwards he's like rolling 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 back till he hits the other side of the ropes okay now he's hitting those he's leaning on those ropes there and then he comes again and hits him and really starts opening up on him and the ref steps in again and separates him okay now when he separates him and then he goes right after him again now now Without even landing, okay, not even landing yet, you can see Lasan Butte losing his legs. His legs are kicked under him already. He's already falling now on the other side, other corner of ropes, okay, into those ropes. He gets caught clean again. I believe it was a, a left. I'm not, can't, I'm not positive, but he catches him again. Now, he slumps over, falls on this side of the ropes again. Now, slumps all the way down. Now, if you watch the way he slides all the way down, you can see in his eyes, he's no longer there. Now, this is where it kicks in about having a good ref, okay? If this was Steve Smoger, Jay Nady, Kenny Bayless, even Joe Cortez, they would have clearly saw that this man was done. He was out. There was only three seconds left in the bout, first off, okay? Three seconds left. You're not, sa uh, the last, you're not saved by the last bout, uh, bow, right? But three seconds left. These refs would not even pay attention to that. They would have been focused and controlled about what was in front of them, how hurt this fighter was, and started giving them the standing eight count. Okay, now he gets up on eight. Some folks were saying seven, some were saying nine. I had did the count. Mine was on eight. He gets up. He beats the count. Gets up on eight. But notice the way he falls right back into those ropes. A good ref would have said, "Come forward. Let me see your gloves." And what I saw, he had no more legs. He had no more eyes. Look at his eyes. His eyes were gone, okay? But instead, what this rep does is that he focuses on Andrade, who's probably about a foot or two away from the corner. Now, a foot or two, dude, that doesn't make a difference. He's still about, what, 15 maybe or more away from you? So he stops his count, right, at six. Walks away, goes over there to to Andrade, starts telling him four or five times, go back to your corner, go back to your corner. Clearly starts looking at somebody out in the out in the ring corner, probably looking at this guy that's holding the count. Okay, we don't know because if you notice, he goes back to make his standing eight count for the song Butte, and he starts at he goes seven, but he's saying nine. Watch his fingers; he's all nine, ten. Dude don't know how to count. Plain and simple. Okay? There's 24 seconds left. Officially it was a 24, game. 25 seconds. Okay? Count. Now, Andrade, Lusan Butte, and Lusan Butte won. Clearly won. On points. Just like Steve Harhood said. Okay? However, if we had a good ref on there that would have made this a more clear-cut decision or knockout we don't know because we had a shitty ref okay um we don't know what the outcome would have really came about if there was a ref that had control of the bout from the first go a ref that was more i would say clear on a championship bout on the magnitude what it is for these two fighters they train so hard to go in there and give such a good performance and really it was a good fight okay and then fight their heart up and do all this training that you you as a ref 
clearly do not know what the hell you're doing, okay, where we could have got a ref that would have done his job properly, said, start the standing, start the count right when he lands, tell Andrade to go to his corner and continue, allow the man to get up, and then figure from there if he's still capable of continuing. That would have been the proper way of doing this standing eight count. Not the way he did it. Then the guy's not even humble enough to say, you know what, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. No, he says, Andrade cost him the fight. No, brother, you cost him the fight.